So she was no longer a mermaid, she turned into a girl, but she was holding a box. And she said, Neptune gave me this box. It must never, ever be opened. If you ever, ever open this box, I will go back to being a mermaid. I will go back to the sea. Neptune knows if you love me, you will never, ever open this box. If you stop loving me and open this box, I will go back to the sea. No problem, Brit said. Is that all? Is that all that Neptune wants, that I don't open that silly box? Huh, I don't care. That's, that's just brilliant. Brilliant. And one thing I would ask you, Bob Owen said, I don't want to live beside the river because Neptune will always be jealous. So let's move inland and if you stop being a fisherman and be a farmer instead and we'll live on the land together and we'll have a good life without being next to the sea. So that's what they did. They got a little farm up the hill away from the river and they settled down and the box was kept on a low chest in their bedroom. And year after year after year, it just sat there. Now, as the years went on, Bryn's older brothers started to have families. Lots of children playing, and they were still, the brothers were still out fishing and talking about their travels up and down the river and out to sea. And Bryn started to feel left out, and he started to feel jealous, and he started to wish that things were different, and that Morvorwin, who he now called Morva, he didn't call her Morvorwin anymore because she wasn't a mermaid anymore, he called her Morva, and he started to think, well, it would be good if she could have children like other women, and it would be good if I didn't have to live on a farm, and and I could be down by the sea again and fish and have my little boat out on the water. And he started to wish for things that he couldn't have. And the more he wished for these things, the more he looked at the box and thought, it's that stupid box. That's what's to blame for me being like that. If it wasn't for that box, everything would be like, we would be like everybody else. That box is like having Neptune sitting in the room watching everything. I don't like that box, he started to think. I want to get rid of that box. I feel like throwing that box into the river. And he, he would get really cross and then he would think, no, 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 no. I must think about it. I must think about the box. So anyway, one day, Morva was out in the field and she was trying to handle the goats. She got two goats, and goats, if, anybody, if any of you get goats, I tell you, it's not easy. And she got two goats, and they were pull pulling in both directions at the same time, and she was shouting, Bryn, Bryn, come and help me with these goats. And he said, oh, just let one of them go. He was very irritable that day. Just let one of them go and catch it later. Don't worry, I'll do it later. And she said, Bryn, I want you now. I want you to come and do this now. And he said, I'm too busy. And he went into the house. And he was really cross and bad-tempered. And he went in the house, and the first thing he saw was the box. And he thought, that box? That? Right. I'm going to get rid of that box. It's that box that's causing all the trouble. It's that box that's getting into my head. It's that box that flipping Neptune giving us this box of... Right, that's it. The box goes. And so he picked up the box. And then he thought, no, I'm not going to throw it in the river because, I mean, I don't know what's in it. I mean, there might be something in it that will pollute the river might be something in it that's very precious. I mean, pearls come from oysters, don't they? There might be something... What's in it? I wonder what's in it. And he had 
the look at it. Is it? Well, there isn't even a lock. There isn't even. There's nothing to stop me lifting the lid. Oh no 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 uh, no uh, no 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 yeah yeah you see the box is the the box is the trouble he said to himself the box if, if I only knew what was in that box I'd be able to say Neptune you have no power over me right off comes the lid oh. right off yeah, hold comes on. the lid. A bit of seaweed? A bit of seaweed? What? And do you know from that bit of seaweed, even as he was speaking, a few drops of water? That's ridiculous. That seaweed must have been in there now for six years. It can't be wet. That's ridiculous. What a stupid trick. And he went outside and shouted, Father, <laughs> you're never going to believe what was in that box. Father, 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 Father. And he ran down to the river and he saw that great fish tail rise up and then he saw her face just turn towards him as she swam down the river toward the sea. Oh, oh my! He shouted. But it was too late. She was gone. Back down to the sea where she came from. Well, Bryn went home to his father and his brothers and he tried to tell them what had happened but all he could do was weep weep for Morva weep for the beautiful Morvorwin that he had let go because he couldn't resist looking into the box and you know he went back to fishing and he spent the rest of his days up and down the Tyvee. So when you see a little rowing boat and one young man sitting in it rowing up and down, you never know, it could be Bryn out looking for him. Thank you very much everyone.